Most people don't know that during Prohibition in the 1920s in the United States, 200 gallons of homemade wine per year were allowed to be made for personal consumption, including for sacramental, medicinal and food ingredient purposes. Home winemakers could buy Vinglo, a dehydrated and pressed grape concentrate known as wine bricks. Isn't that amazing? Clever exporters sold customers a keg and showed how to ferment the wine. That's the little known story of wine bricks during Prohibition and the benefits of religious devotion. And that's this day in wine history.